He has a great testimony to the platform right now. Zaley Zastro. The daughter of Brendan and Sarah, who are members on our staff. Who, Kaylee's got quite a testimony. She's 12 years of age. In August of 2019, she felt called of God to the ministry at Assembly of God Fine Arts General Council ceremony. Three weeks after that dedication, returning home. See, the devil's not pleased when we make a dedication. Her parents had to rush her to Phoenix Children's Hospital for a rare form of leukemia. She was released from the hospital and then readmitted with a fungus infection. Along the way, our church community prayed, and Zaley's faith grew. Zayla was cancer-free for 11 months and then readmitted in September. And while at Phoenix Children's Hospital, in honor of Luke that was walking the Arizona Trail in Annalee, she ran through the halls of the Phoenix Children's Hospital just to celebrate. And I think she would probably pray for Luke a little bit better as she run around the hospital. Zaley, someone gave me your testimony that you gave to the youth. And this church loves you. I want you to give that same testimony you gave to the youth church. It's good for us too. Okay, yeah, so today I'll be sharing a couple of things that I have learned from my experience. So, as you all just heard, Satan has been trying to attack me the last year. And it was hard at first because my faith wasn't developed yet. But then as my journey went along, I started to build my faith up. Now, some of you may be thinking to yourselves, wow, she must be like a real faith warrior. Maybe that I just started out like ready for this and I just already had a lot of faith. But no, that's not right. <laughs> I never really expected this to happen or that I would ever preach on the stage. And yeah, I have been going to church my whole life, but I never really knew God, I just knew about God. Now, let's talk more about what that really means. So, as I was saying, I've been going to church for a long time, but what's the real reason you go to church? Before, I used to just go to church as a social event or maybe even to be satisfied with myself. But now I go to church for the worship and to be in God's presence and to learn more and more. Which group do you think that you would fall in? And if you're not really sure, then here's another perspective. When, in the past, you have listened to messages, do you apply it to your life? After you go home, do you do the opposite of what they were talking about? Do you be intentional? If not, then maybe you need to stop thinking of the messages and start doing them. And if you're really being true to yourself and thinking that you are with, right with God, then go further. If anyone else is going through a storm, you can pray with them and encourage them because it always helps. I know that it really helped me when the church community prayed for me, so you can pray alongside with others too. In the Bible in Romans 10:2, it says, For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God, but that their zeal is not based on knowledge. Now what that means is that the religious leaders were just preaching with head knowledge and no passion. They were just saying stuff that they maybe even didn't believe. And I know that they had head knowledge and not heart knowledge. And if you're thinking to yourselves, well, what does that even mean? Well, head knowledge is when you memorize the scripture and know the Bible stories so you can remind God of his promises and attack Satan with the word to make him flee. But heart knowledge is when you have a good relationship with God and when you can feel comfortable telling others about him and when you love him so much that you don't want to sin against him. And I think that they both work together because you could have head knowledge and not actually know God or you could only have heart knowledge and have it be easier to sin because you don't know what God expects you to do because you haven't even read the Bible. 
John 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So if you don't have any head knowledge, which is known in the Bible, then how can you really know God or truly have a good relationship with him? Now, you may think, what's the big deal if I don't have a relationship with God because I'm saved anyway? Now, I used to think something pretty similar, but there's so much more that God can do for you than just let you have a spot in heaven. And if you maybe just don't feel comfortable trusting a God that you can't see or don't know his plans, you should stop worrying about what you don't know about God and start reading and trusting what you do. Because when your storm comes, will you be ready? If you were to find out tomorrow that you were gonna get a deadly disease, do you think that you would have enough faith to fight it? Now, I feel like the first step to finding a better relationship with God is acknowledging that you haven't been right with God. So now I'm gonna pass it off to Pastor Tommy for the prayer. Remain standing. Yes, because we're, going, we're just about to close, so remain.